Hi, this is Niels Hans, Hans Dynasty, Niels Han Dynasty, coming to you live from my basement, the best place in the world. Going to bring you guys that have no knowledge of economics as far as formal training or college for economics or anything like that. Here's some, some proof that things might be getting bad if you don't understand economics. You can very easily understand this. Here's the, what's happening in the local area. The scene. According to a Dodgy Yuan interview, small and medium rural banks face various pressures. Apart from dissolution, Chinese regulators also issued merger orders for many banks. Ex okay, they're not a free democratic nation. They are the CCP, Communist Chinese Party. They order. They don't. They don't let things happen regularly like we would. Uh, well, we used to do here in America. If it was too big to fail or whatever, you know, it would fail. In China, they take and and they're in the CCP. They take and enforce the issue not to be an issue. Meaning, if banks are becoming insolvent, they will force them into other banks that are solvent, hiding the numbers and making the problem seem less than it is. But once countries start doing this to banks, it's bad. Experts claimed the act was to cover their operations failure. The Hubei Banking and Insurance Regulatory Bureau disbanded Wuqiang Jiayin and Fucheng Jiayin rural banks on July 6 due to the acquisition and reorganization of small and medium banks. After dissolution, these two banks had to cancel all their business activities immediately. Moreover, the two must return their financial licenses and transfer all of their businesses, properties, creditors' rights, debts, and other rights and obligations to Zheng Jiakou Bank and become its sub-branches. Wang He, a current affairs commentator, disclosed that the main reason for these bank dissolutions is that the Chinese regime's control and management have failed since the development of rural banks in 2007. Li Hengqing, an economist in the United States, added that China's rural banks have a lot of abnormal activities. He accused the process of obtaining banking licenses from most rural banks might involve power and money transactions. Li explained that business... So basically how these small rural banks got power and control over their local area was probably through bribes and nepotism and cronyism. And that's never a good way to have any kind of uh, economic institution. Anyhow, you guys have a good day. I hope this helps you realize that we are not as well off as one might think. And buy yourself some silver and some platinum. Be kind, helpful, and remain grateful. And, you know, it's getting bad out there, guys. You know, you can either be a jerk, have your blinders on, just keep driving forward until you hit the wall. Or you can start waking people up. I started this channel, hopefully, to wake people up. And I'm hoping that I'm waking people up. You guys have a nice day. Bye-bye.